three, but I'm not, he's just showing the fastball barely out of the strike zone. One thing he's really attacking the strike zone with is his breaking ball and off-speed pitch. Dyson yesterday had one of the very biggest hits, a double igniting a four-run fourth for a five-run Carolina lead. This one is lofted. Back goes Galiente on the track. Ooh. Just does clear. And Dyson, at first, as he was watching the play of that ball, missed first base. He had to go back and touch it. And now he'll touch them all after tying the game with his 17th home run. It was a long flight he had to watch. There's one of the few fastballs out over the plate. He'll be sure and get that ball in and put pitch to the elements. See if he touches first base here. Certainly didn't look down and see it. Good composure. Let's make sure. I got a ball in the seats here. Yep. 15 fly ball to left field. They hit it high enough to, to ride that wind right out of here. Left fielder just ran out of room. So we start over. But you know what is is really the best part of that inning is that it didn't affect the game as it turned out. It could have. But Green, instead of being called out, was given the leadoff double, and Clemson got nothing out of it. Now, Clemson fans, I'm sure you disagree, but if, if you saw all the different angles, that's obviously a catch by Harris, and you'd hate to see a game with this much on the line between these two decided by any type of umpiring controversy. And again, there's been very, very little of it all week. One, the crews one, have been very consistent and right on top of every play. Well, you got the best players in the country and arguably the best umpires in the country at the college level. Steve Thomas launches one goodbye, forget it. And the game clock's have the lead. of the year, Steve Thomas. Leading off the six makes it 5-4 Carolina. Well, watch the post-contact reaction. I think he knows this is gone. I don't know, I never hit one like that. He's looking for the bat boy right about now. There he is. Never a doubt in the dugout. And the question, where would it finally come down? Well, that was not wind data. That ball's going to... hope we're not looking at the truck out there. Ball luckily stayed in the, the new stands out there. So as the Gamecocks celebrate, Steve Reba leaves after five innings and one batter here in the sixth. We'll see left-hander Thomas Boozer, the Tigers, for the first time tonight, trail. Leaves disappointed. Third team All-America. They see him again. 16th round pick by Oakland last year. He returned for his senior year. And now Dyson, who had a two-run homer in the fourth to pull the Gamecocks even at that point, setting the stage for the go-ahead home run by Thomas here in the sixth. strike. Well, Thomas Boozer's control left-handed pitcher. He's not going to overpower you. Very streaky with his curveball. Can show you above average one, but command has been back and forth this year. He's a competitor. Really hasn't grasped that third pitch well enough to be a starting pitcher, but he's been a solid performer for Clemson this year out of the bullpen. Dyson launches that one deep to right. Schmidt will watch this one sail out. And the power show continues for Carolina. Three homers tonight. Two here in the sixth. Two tonight. Both two-run shots by Dyson. Break the ball ends up out over the plate. Got to be able, 
really gets too involved in left on left with the breaking ball. You got to establish that fastball in the outer half before you can in the inner half before the breaking ball becomes a usable pitch, especially if it's a breaking ball strike. Breaking ball strike is one that left-handed hitters can really turn on. Steve Reba just can't watch right now. He leaves. South Carolina's power on display as Boozer comes in, and it's now 7-4 Carolina. And Landon Powell, the catcher, leading the Gamecock eighth. He has doubled in his three trips. Patrick Hogan finished up that disastrous sixth. Started by Reba facing Thomas as his last batter, giving up the home run. Thomas Boozer in for two batters, a single by Busher, the Dyson homer. Hogan came in, greeted by Gonce's double, and later on, two RBI singles by Melillo and Harris. As the Gamecocks broke a 4 4 tie. It's good an outing as Matt Campbell's had. Been real impressed with Landon Powell, only a sophomore, but has handled his pitching staff very well. You think about all the things he has to do. He's getting the pitches out of the dugout, but he's, he's handling a young pitcher in a real pressure spot. Get a little different pressure. Really the first time Clemson's had a lot of pressure put on them if they go on to lose this game. A different matchup on Friday. Hogan with the 3-2. Hit deep right field. Might have lost another one. Home run again for Carolina. Powell has hit his 12. 10-4. Hey, we watch the replay of this swing, Dave. I want you to watch his head. Watch his head here. How he stays down on this ball. Head down swing. That's the way you draw it up. It's about all things in any form of athletics. Every, it's about every mistake you make has something to do with movement in your head or not having your head on the ball. I don't care what sports you play. Nice. Check is Schmidt at first, the one-two pitch. Busher has another chance and makes the long throw, and Carolina lives for a Friday rematch. The Clemson National Championship hopes put on hold, at least temporarily. They had hoped to take a 3-0 record into a Saturday championship game. They have never been to a national championship. They will have to beat Carolina Friday afternoon at 2 Eastern to get there. The Gamecocks fight from behind twice to win 12 to 4 in an amazing display of power and relief pitching by Matt Campbell. So we'll see you again here at 2 Eastern, 1 Central, same two. And that one will really be for birth in the championship game. Okay, they got, they're headed to a great matchup on Friday. Tip of the hat to South Carolina. Really fought their way back into this. They got some momentum going. Another great job by Matt Campbell down there. And I think Dave Ryan's going to be able to talk to him here at some point. He's got to be excited. He didn't look like a freshman today, did he? He's ready to go right now, Dave. All right, Matt Campbell, how did it feel to come in relief for this game? You had a lot of pressure on you for a freshman. How'd you deal with that, and how do you feel you pitched tonight? Well, uh, I felt I pitched pretty good considering all year, you know, I've had a little bit of control problem, but Coach Sanders kept a lot of faith in me, and, you know, I just... Early on in the year, you know, I was real nervous trying to make the perfect pitch, and I just tried to came out here, come out here and uh, make the right pitches and let my defense work behind me, and fortunately that worked for me. You're from South Carolina. You know what this rivalry means. What's the significance to you and your teammates now? A chance to knock out Clemson Friday and a winner-take-all game. Uh, it's really, I really have no words to explain how much it means, but uh, hopefully we want to even up the series with them because right now they lead the series 3-2 this year. We haven't lost the series all year. Hopefully we can even it up and go to the championship. All right, Dave, one more battle of Palmetto State comes up Friday, 1 o'clock. That one will be fun. This one was, too. And congratulations to Matt Campbell. And the Gamecocks, who 
ever since the 11 to nothing Georgia Tech game in game one have insisted that wasn't us. That was not our real team. And you have to believe them now. The real team has been the one that we've seen again tonight. Double figure hits, double figure runs just about every time out. But there's no place to put them. Still an eight run pad for Bondurant. Sky to right. Seaton circles under and makes the catch. And Carolina has beaten Clemson to advance to the championship game. Harold, some ninth inning dramatics. Only get them a little bit closer at 10 to 2, but South Carolina earned this one. They really did. When you look at the offense, the numbers they put up, you forget about the pitching and defense, and that is really the key to this club. That young man was tremendous. Von Durant goes a complete game against the power-hitting Clemson Tigers, shuts down his bitter arch rivals, and Carolina will now play Texas for national championship. The LPGA is coming up next. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Harold Reynolds, Dave Ryan, Dave Barnett, and Buck Showalter, this is Mike Patrick. Good afternoon from the College World Series in Omaha.